So in my last video, I showed you how to download the Scout app and set up your SAS environment. And I quickly introduced variables. Um, I'm going to explain that a little more in depth later on, maybe in the next two or three videos. But for right now, uh, what I want to show you is nesting. Now, nesting is a really good benefit of writing your uh, CSS, or actually pre-processing -pre your CSS and SAS. And it's because it allows you to nest uh, your styling rules just like you would nest HTML. So I have this div with the class of wrapper. And I'm going to cut that box out and I'm going to paste it in here. And then um, I'll just save it. And over here, I'm going to start writing my wrapper CSS. And um, I'll give it a margin of 0 auto and a width of 940. And then I'll add some padding to it of uh, 20 pixels all around. And like I said, you can nest your style rules. Uh, so I'm going to cut that out. And then under padding, I'm going to paste it. And then that. And I'll just save. And if I show you the CSS file, you'll see that um, Scout has compiled that SAS or SCSS and um, output it as just regular uh, CSS. The back of my uh, SAS file, um, just like nesting um, elements on a page, you can also nest style rules for any given uh, element. So how about we'll add a border to the box. And to do uh, nested style rules, you add a colon, just like you normally would. And then uh, you open and close the curly, some curly brackets. I'm going to style my left border and uh, my right border, just like that. And within these, I'm going to give it some properties and uh, values. So for style, I'm going to put solid. And for width, I'll put 10 pixels. And color, I'll make it red. Um, Oh, actually, my forgot that my box's background is red. I'm just going to change this to a dark gray. Uh, and let's see. Okay, so I got my style, width, and color. I'm just going to copy that. And then paste it right down here for the right. And instead of solid, I'll just put something different just to demonstrate. I'll put dashed. And I'll leave it 10 pixels, and then I'll change this to white. So then I, when I save it, I can look at my CSS file again. And you can see that, uh, again, it has applied all of those styles to uh, the box div. And it's all properly coded CSS. Let me uh, refresh this in the browser and make sure it works. OK, so we have this weird Lego looking thing. I don't know, maybe a battery. I don't know. Anyway, um, that's nested, or that's nesting in SCSS for the most part. Um, thanks for watching, and if you have not subscribed, go ahead and do so. Also, check out my other videos on my channel. I have stuff on uh, front-end frameworks like Bootstrap. Actually, that's the only one I have, and I also have a WordPress tutorial going on. Um, you can find me all over social media and whatnot. And again, thanks for watching.